Hello, this is Michelle Pesco Solito, and in today's training, I want to show you how to create the call to action buttons here on Facebook. Um, if you don't have this feature, it will be rolled out to you soon. I know they started out with a lot of the people who use Facebook ads a lot, but uh, again, it will be coming out. But in the meantime, let me show you how to create it. So there's a couple of ways to do it, but in this video, I'm actually going to show you how to do it by creating a post. So you're going to want to go into your power editor. You can get through to the power editor through your ads manager. Then up here at the top, you're going to see manage pages. You're going to want to click on manage pages. And then you're going to come in here and after you select your page on the left, I'm going to choose my fan page, which it's already selected, you're going to come in here and click create a post. And here you're going to add in the URL. So where do you want to drive traffic after somebody clicks on your call to action button? That's what you want to post up here in this link. So let's just say I want to drive traffic to my blog. So I'm going to add in the link there. Then we're going to want to put some sort of description. This is going to go in the status update as part of your description. It's just like you creating a status update on your fan page. So check out this new, let me just say what I'm doing since I'm creating this. So testing out the new call to action feature in, in the power editor. All right, so my description might be to get more training visit my site you know something along those lines just you know get some sort of I could say visit my blog you know some sort of description that's gonna help people understand that when they click on this call to action button that's what they're gonna get so call to action we can choose shop now so maybe you have a website that somebody can go to and actually buy something so you would want to insert a call to action button that says shop now maybe you want somebody to watch a training video you've done or visit your blog or just to learn more about information that you're talking about in the post text section you would click on learn more and that's actually what I'm going to do for this particular status update um, sign up now maybe the link that you're promoting gives people the ability to sign up for something so your call to action button would be sign up Maybe your link that you're providing gives people the ability to book something. So it's going to be book now. And they're going to click on that and go to the website to actually book something. Download. Download's another great one that a lot of marketers are using. Maybe you're offering a free PDF report or a free webinar or something along the lines that they're going to be able to download. Maybe it's an ebook. So you would use the call to action button, download. And once you choose that button, which I've chosen to learn more, you don't have to fill out the link headline, display link, or, or description because Facebook's going to pull that information off of the website that you provide here. Now, my image, just because I know from testing, that comes off of this website is not a great image, so I'm actually going to change the image. So we're going to come in here and click Upload Image, and then I would come in here and just select an image that I would want to upload. And so that's now going to show up in this status update that I'm creating and all you have to do is click create the post so I'm not going to do that because I've already done that so I'm going to show you the end result and once you do that so here it is all right it's not opening up for me for some reason but let's do this so once this opens up which is not for me right now <laughs> You can take a look at what that looks like. Normally, you can click on it to take a look at it in the news feed. So, yeah, see, see how it shows up here for some reason? This, there it is. It showed up. You only need to click it once. So then you can come over here and view what it looks like on your page. But be sure that you click Publish Post before you go out of the Power Editor because you want to make sure, because you've just created the post, but you now want to actually publish that post. And that's where you would click Publish Post, and you can actually schedule it. I've got it scheduled to go out, but we can click on View page, Post on the page, and we can see what it looks like. And here is my Call to Action button. So when somebody clicks on this, they're going to go over to my blog um, because that's the URL that I put in to this post that I just created in the Power Editor. So I love these new call to action buttons. I want to you know, show you guys how to use these so you can take your business to the next level. Let me know if you've created one or if you have it or not. Um, be sure to share and like this video if you got value out of it. And I'll see you in the next training video. Bye-bye.